Hey guys, Rick in here with XLeads, and I'm going to simply teach you how to go into XLeads and pull your wholesale marketing list so you get the most motivated sellers for the absolute best results. So what I want to do is go ahead and share my screen with you. So I will add this to the stage and we are going to jump in our X leads account. And if you jump down to lead pipe and click property leads, you can now start your search. Now you can put in by zip code, you can put in by city, or you can put in by county. It's whatever your preference is. I like zip codes if you want to get really, really specific, but let's just show you how this works. So you get a broad understanding on how to do it. Now, as you see, I do Brevard County. I get 246,000 plus leads, a lot of leads. I'd like to narrow it down to probably around like three to 5,000. Maybe I'm putting a direct mail campaign together, whatever I want to do. Now, if you want to cheat, you can click some of these preset filter leads for you. Um, as you see, you got absentee owners. Um, you have active listings, which I would avoid all plague. And if you have a question mark, just put it on there and it will show you what it means. Those are properties listed on MLS. You're not getting the best deals there. Delinquent tax activity, free and clear. These are people who have 100% equity in the property, or you can do high equity. What I'm going to do is do one from scratch for you so you can build your own custom filters. Now, let's go ahead and see the results. When I put in the results, remember it was very generic um, what I put in there. I haven't narrowed it down, but all your information, your lists are going to be right here. So this is the first set and it gives it tags. Guys, these tags are phenomenal. I have all the information I need in front of me, free and clear. Um, this person's a cash buyer. They're a board investor, which means they own a lot of property and they're an absentee owner. So we need to narrow down this list. If you see here, it will give you LTV, which is loan to value. You're going to have the retail number, the rental rates, and what an average wholesale price is. I don't really put a lot of stock into the wholesale thing. We'll get more specific and show you how to do it. So what I want you to do, if you want to get more specific, click the filters to build your list. And the first thing we are going to do is basically, I like to start with the property features. Now notice that your list criteria will be here on the left-hand side. It's in bright red, guys. I can't make this any easier for you. I love the functionality of this. The first thing is I want to focus on single family homes. So I'm going to get rid of everything else. Um, I like to do multi, but I want to show you how this works. So we went from 246,000 plus and we're searching down here on the bottom. And as it's thinking and it's spitting out the results, we now cut it down to 193,000. All right. Now we just got to keep on trimming because I want the best, highest motivated sellers I can possibly get. Now, if you wanted to do criteria, you wanted to do a uh, minimum two bedrooms, three baths, you can go right here. You can do square footage. You can get rid of properties with a pool or anything like that. I, I hate pools, but um, remember, we're not living in these properties. If you have a year built requirement, um, you don't want to buy anything past um, 1940 or before 1940, you can put it in there. Now we can go down to ownership type. I want to buy from individuals. Um, that's what most of you are going to do. And as I keep building my list, I keep narrowing it down. Now we're down to 162,000 minimum years of ownership. I'm going to say five. And I like to put a maximum of 30 because the odds of them selling um, over 30, probably kind of keep it in the family. And then we keep spinning the results. So if you see here, we're down to 90,000. We're making progress. Okay. Let's keep going on. You want to do owner occupied, original owner, out of state, in state owners. You can just keep dialing down these criteria, which is what I love. You can make this as custom as you want. Now, the mortgage information, if we are trying to concentrate on high equity properties, you got to hear this one out carefully. The way we construct our data is opposite how most other software companies do it. We believe this gives it more accurate number. We just calculate it differently. So if you're coming over from prop stream or batch, I just want you to understand if you're setting an equity filter, basically a 40% or higher, you just have to do it backwards in X leads. It's what gives us the best results. It's how our system works. And you need to be very aware of when you put it in there. So if you want 40% or higher in equity, you are going to set your filter at zero to 60%. So let me show you how to do it. Obviously zero. I don't even think you have to put it in there, but I always like to put the numbers in there. And then I do 60%. Now watch the number below. It'll start to spin. 
Uh, let me go back to my filters here. And it is searching. So it's important to understand the equity filter in X lead is opposite of every other company you work for. So be aware of this and make sure if you're pulling a high equity list, you just do it backwards. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. I'll provide more training so you understand on it. So now we're down to 81,000. And once we do that, you can now just keep dwindling your list down. So you can now go to ownership information, type of owners. We did individuals, number of years. Maybe I bump it up to six to keep cutting my number down. You guys are kind of getting the hang of this. We're now down to 75,000. Now, what I like to do is go back over to property valuations. And I am going to set my max value at 250,000 and see where we wind up in this. And if you look at the numbers spinning down on the bottom, we're down, down to 6,650 results. So maybe we want to cut that down. Maybe we want to go down to 220 because I'm looking for rental type properties on the lower end range. And as I keep narrowing down my criteria, I now have 3000 results. So if I want to see the results, they're right here. And what you can do, if you want, you click this button, you select all, and it's going to put it in your, my leads account. Now, if I select all, I've added it to my leads. I have another set of leads in there. And if you want, you have the option, you can download it. Now it's going to save it as a CSV file. And then you can actually have options and you can decide which data you want to pick instead of you having to filter through your list. This is a great feature that we have here at XLeads. Um, but you want to put, if you're doing a um, an offer postcard, make sure you have the valuations built in there. But you can get as much detail, or if you just want the simple mailing address to either put a reverse driving for dollars or do a direct mail, just click the top one. If you want to do property details, if you want to do valuations, you're doing the offer postcard, you would want to click on that. So now that you know how to do that, you can click that and you can export your leads. And as usual, you can simply go over and just how you normally operate on your list. That's how you pull an X leads list. Now I will go into more detail and show you the tricks and trades we use in our business. So you can maximize your list. Remember high equity is only one way. Most people pull high equity to do big list predominantly for direct mail. If you want to learn more on how to do direct mail, go over to mailingmastery.com. Guys, this is everything you need to know on getting started in X lead so you can pull the best motivated list for your wholesale business. I'll see you in the next video. See you guys.